Hi kinders, are you ready to work on another drops in the bucket? Please get a pencil. Miss Cecilia's gonna use a marker just because it's easier to see. And we're gonna start with our name. Since this is a new packet, I want you to just take off the top page. Whiteboard out of the way. Just the top page. And you'll see that it is drops in the bucket number 16. And we're going to save 17, 18, 19, and 20 for next time. All right, so let's start. Are you ready? It says circle six baskets. So I'm going to circle six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it wants you to check four. Check means to draw a short line and then a tall line. One check, two checks, three checks, four checks. Let's see the pattern. Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. That's right. Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square, circle. And let's finish the pattern. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to count the octopuses. One, two, three, four, five, six octopus. Draw a line to six. And let's count the presents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight presents. And dolphins. One, two, three, four, five dolphins. And now we're ready to do the addition. Five plus zero. So if I have five, and I don't get any more, how many do I have? That's right, I have five. And if I have three pillows and I crossed out three pillows, how many pillows do I have? I can do my fingers too. I have three fingers and I take away three fingers. How many fingers do I have up? Zero. So we have a little froggy down here and he's pulling the petals of a flower. So you're going to start where there's the most petals. So which one has the most petals? He just started right here. He just pulled one off, right? So that'll be one. Now, what's the second most? Probably the one right next to it. And then which one is probably like halfway over here? And then this one has three left. This has one left. So this would be next. And then when he only has one left, that's the last one. So now we can get our glue stick and our scissors. I'm going to just put two rows of glue, one, maybe three. I don't want it to fall off. And then we're going to close our glue stick. This is with a clip. Take our scissors and cut. The froggy picture is out. And then I'm going to put each picture out. And then the easiest part, I get to put it back together again. So I'm going to find one. And then two. Oops. I moved it to the glue. Three. Four. Five. Look at that, Kinders. One, two, three, four, five. And if we look at it, we see that the froggy started with a big flower that had almost all its petals. And then he kept plucking and plucking and plucking till he only had one left. Great job, Kinders. If your paper looks like Mrs. Cito's paper, give yourself a happy face. And don't forget to show this to your teacher on Flipgrid Friday. I will see you next time. Bye, Kinders.